man in the... Okay, uh, well, this is Gerard Black of Philippines. Uh, welcome to my channel. All my subscribers, new subscribers, my... Hey, let me check this dude out. All my scallywag, peaches, triggers, commenters, each and every one of you. I want to welcome you to my channel. Well, right now, Calvin's been visiting me the whole day. He's waiting on his wife to come get him. Uh, uh, we've been um, uh, enjoying ourselves today, to say the least. Uh, Calvin, is anything, is, is anything you want to say? Oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Well, you are again. I know that I knocked on the plant. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I know. Let me go. Faster, my. With my cell phone stand. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I have been walking to. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, then, okay. Here we go. Uh, you wait. No, uh, Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way. The dog's going nuts on the camera. So, Calvin's been at my house all day. Oh, like And we've been, uh, uh, me, his brother in law, and all of them been here. Yeah, my he's sister. Close it. And, uh, we've been listening to music. Me, his brother in law, has watched the fight. So, we're at the end of the, the, the day. Calvin's waiting on his wife to come pick him up. Uh, and it's about time he's going to take his ass home. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so what's going on, Calvin? Well, ah, yeah. uh, my baby's here. Oh, Boy, ain't nothing like when you person of interest come here. Right. And then, uh, 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 and I've been doing this shit for a long time. I asked my brother and shit. I got to go back to my, oh, hey, you, come here. You. Mia, yeah. Mia, go G. tell Tissy to G. come inside or tell her to stop blowing the horn. Yeah, we blowing up on the horn, me. Yeah. Uh, we from uh, the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mother got the cab driver. Got oh, the okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of trivia. Do you know white people are called honkies? Why? Because in Harlem, when, pi when white men used to come looking for black prostitutes, they would blow their horns. And then that's when they how they became known as honkies. Because when they come into the Harlem, they blow their horn, beep, beep. Oh, there's a honky downstairs for you. And that's where the phrase that came in, honkies. So, well, well, so well. no matter how long this lasts, or how short it lasts, you know, at least you got a little bit of, of history and knowledge. Wait, but anyway, as the producer, tell me he had welcomed me to a show. You know, I don't know, but I'm one of the best entertainers that's in the world. All you gotta do is listen to Gerard. Black in the Philippines with the truth. And we gonna be telling it from here to there. Oh, I gotta go home now, sit around, sleep around, listen to some of that. You wanna tell them about some of the exciting things that happened to you here? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't tell them. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I won't tell him. Well, well, well. Anyway, we are. Well, you know, I know, you know, I want to see if I can do this. You know, we have these uh, <laughs> yeah. stools that are like this, all right? And although Calvin was encouraged to sit in a chair with the back on it, he preferred to sit on the stool. So after a few sips and everything, <laughs> Calvin went to lean back. And what happened, Calvin? You, you pick it up from there. Well, I fell down, and you know what I mean? I, I, you fell down. Wait. To get up. <laughs> there it is. All right. You know what? Yeah, Calvin, yeah. Oh, Calvin yeah. said, I'm going to have my lawyer contact you. Oh, I yeah. said, oh, yeah. Have, yeah, have yeah, your yeah. lawyer call my lawyer. 1-800, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't what? give a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Only there. Oh, she on her way outside the gate. Uh, she doesn't want to come inside. Uh, <laughs> she knows her husband. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> but Calvin, Calvin had fallen back. His he head, back no his guy. head ended up in a dog. <laughs> <laughs> in a dog shack. In a dog pool. <laughs> in a dog water bowl. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, I got up. I got up, and I kept on going. You kept on going. Yeah, and I wish you would join with me on this. Uh, Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. So right now, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna wish you all a merry Christmas and uh, happy New Year, Calvin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And we want to thank you for the 
many views that you've given me on my channel, Gerard Black and Philippines with the Truth, and all of you who have commented on Calvin and I and have enjoyed the, uh, the videos that we have provided for you. So what did your daughter tell you today? She told me the... Uh I know that. Oh, yeah, about the video. What did she yeah. say? She said, oh, I seen you on YouTube. But she ain't seen her daddy yet. No, she saw me on YouTube. She said, I saw, I saw the Onyx on YouTube. I said, what? After all these months, almost years, she never seen the two of us on yet? So at least she's finally discovered Gerard Black in the Philippines. And you do the same thing, too. Share this video. You'll like this video. And you know... Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans. Oh, subscribe to this video. Thank you, gentlemen. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans of winning action. Do, uh, do you have a New Year's resolution now? Yeah. What is it, Calvin? Oh, Lord, I got many. To be a better man. Okay. Yeah, be a better man. Right. Support the kids. Oh, okay, yes, uh, definitely. And be blessed by God. Mm -hmm. That's my utmost. I don't know where I... Uh, I like riding an airplane. You know, y'all been on an airplane before. You like when your eyes, your nose, and your ears. <laughs> yes. Jade, stop sweeping. And then I almost saw talking to a friend because I ain't got one. I only got one friend. Ooh, well, that's a little low. More blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, we like to have a lot of fun. I know what you Korean people do. Oi, we the Americans. Just living. Black in the Philippines. Philippines. You know what my New Year's resolution is? My New Year's resolution is being able to make myself more accessible to you, my viewers. Uh, which means by my, uh, tomorrow someone's supposed to show me how to do the Zoom and how I can have an open forum where a lot of you can, can reach out to me. So I really want to take advantage of some of the things that I uh, uh, have uh, missed out on because of my lack of knowledge about this and to be a good daddy. Yeah, Calvin, I'm gonna have a baby. All right, Gerard, she's ready to have a child. And God bless Ma. But we have videos that y'all never seen before. We just got them in the archive. But, and I hope y'all visit our, our channel. Gerard Black in the Philippines, with you? Okay, but, get out of here, Helen, move. Okay. And then, and then my favorite dog, come in. Come in, Helen. Come in, baby. Come in, baby. Okay, so we're going to stop right here because Calvin's wife is waiting in. Uh, and I, I don't want to be too disrespectful but, but, but keeping her out there sitting but, in the car. No, and um, so remember, you're watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share, and like. Don't put my dog. And down. remember, dreams are nothing more than plans of waiting action. Never disrespect the elderly or pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes, you're the only one to see a vision. And the best revenge in life is to live <laughs> there ain't nobody but who? Calvin! <laughs> Damn, I'm hey, drunk. You're lucky to have a woman. The <laughs> like Ali was a former police singing of the temptation one song. Treat her like a lady. Channel. And lady, if you're lucky to have a good man like Calvin channel. and I, make us feel like a king, and never say no. And on that note, we'll say, Calvin, can we peace? And so. And so, Merry Christmas, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Okay, welcome back. I know that was a kind of crazy opening, but I thought maybe I would get a little bit of something uh, since Calvin was here. Uh, again, I want to welcome you to my channel. Uh, I want to, uh, I have my bragging rights. Uh, uh, mm, my second place uh, trophy, runner-up trophy, uh, playing tennis. Um, go, go, Celestina, go. I don't know why, why when I start doing videos, they got, come, move, 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 go, go. <laughs> they got to come around, they're all sitting there watching me, you know, <laughs> you know. So, but, but, for some reason, though, they want to get up and move around and walk around the stand, which is out now, now, <laughs> you know, but yeah, um, 
You know, uh, I, <laughs> you don't know, you don't know how much this means to me because a lot of times the only time I could play tennis was unless I got there very early and be one of the first players there, or when they absolutely need, abs I mean, absolutely need a fourth player to play doubles, and they see me, hey, Onyx, <laughs> oh, you need me now, <laughs> and, you know, and I know there's some certain players that, you know, I, I just don't even want to be on the court because they're so good, but the way you get better is not playing the uh, people who are, who are worse than you, you will get better by playing people who are better than you. So this means a lot to me to be able to uh, have the bragging rights of saying that I, I won a tournament of tennis. You know, again, my unorthodox <laughs> way of playing. But I, I do have my spins that makes them look like they're dancing on the other side. And you have to see it someday. One day I'll put it up there. Okay, well, uh, you know, and as a result, I've injured my knee. My knee's been very painful. And, um, you know, uh, um, uh, I even still try playing tennis on it, but it's, it's just too bad. It, it pains so much. So today I'm going to go have an x-ray, <clears throat> and Monday I have a chiropractor uh, appointment with Scott. So I spoke to you about Scott. He was the guy who God put right beside me in, in Mercury Drugs. And uh, uh, far enough, we started talking and come to find out that he was a chiropractor. And I said, <laughs> does it ever get any better than that? I mean, how many times, you know, you know, I, I wish I keep track of how many times that, 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 that right in the nick of time, something materialized, something happened, or, you know, something was provided for me, you know, uh, out of the blue. And uh, this was just another example how God looks after babies and fools, and I'm too big to be a baby. You know, I um, I know I need to have a full uh, checkup, and one day uh, y'all will get to sell them in a hospital and do that. But as we're getting close to the Christmas season, you know, I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I think, and close to having the baby. You know, every, my eyes, I've been trying to get done. My eyes, the only thing I haven't had done, and I got cataracts, and it costs 55000 you know, for each eye. And, and I haven't had, you know, you know, I have the money, but, you know, I'm always hesitant to spend it because, you know, for um, wanting to provide for my family and make sure that we have what we need, you know, to make it through, uh, through the night as... Uh, Ringo Starr wants to help me make it through the night. But hey, I think it was Ringo Starr. But I want to thank all of you who corrected me on my geopolitics. <laughs> and, and the gloomy prediction of some of you gave me in the 8 to 10 years going to have World War Three. <laughs> you know, you know, you know uh, it just goes to show you how little information can go a, little, a long way the wrong way. <laughs> but... But yeah, okay, so China's not looking after the Philippines and, and you know, and, 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 you know, whatever I said, you know, you know but and be that as it may. I feel a lot safer here in the Philippines than I do on the streets of New York. I feel a lot safer here in the Philippines than I did in Las Vegas where I ended up living inside of a storage unit for over a month, you know, from being robbed so much, you know. I feel a lot safer here you know, then, then, uh, then uh, uh, being in a supermarket where a gunman might come in and just, you know, out of the blue, just a mass shooting, you know, so, so be that as it may, or how, however you shuffle the cards, you know, I feel a lot safer here you know, in, the, in the Philippines than in my own country, you know, and <clears throat> it's sad to say, but it's the reality of it, you know, you know, the, 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 the Philippines, you know, in my opinion, you know, when, when you come to the Philippines, you should leave all that shit behind. Although a lot of people don't, a lot of bring their baggage with them and, and bring their hatred with them and bring their prejudice with them. And, 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 and it's still here, it's still prevalent, you know, and there's nothing you can do about that. All you can do is find your lane and make, make it the best experience you can here in the Philippines. Make the best life you can here in, in the Philippines. I found out that somebody named, I think Mike, what, what, MKY or something like that, Philippines Journey or whatever it is, was, was, whoa, 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 
about me and, and someone tried to send me things. They said he moved, removed the video. And I said, okay, well, be, be that as it may, maybe it's just as well, you know. You know, if, if you want to talk about me, uh, how I misspell words or how bad my math is or, or you know, or, you know, um, you know, any of those things, feel free, you know. You know, I'd rather be talked about than not at all. And I'm sure through your, you know, bringing my name up, I may have gained one or two additional subscribers. And for that, I thank you, Mr. Journey, for, for blah, blah about me, me, you know, so... Anyway, so um, I be that as it may, you know, uh, like I like I'm getting ready to have a child soon, so uh, um, it's going to take interesting, you know. My 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 YouTube channel uh, my, might be drawn in the black paint with the truth plus one, <laughs> you know, because I'm definitely going to show what it's like being a father here in the Philippines. And like I say, you know, I you know I, I see a lot of fathers foreign foreigners with, with babies and I love to have them all on my show and talk about what it's like being as old as we are and having a child, you know, but, you know, but I'm not, nah, I don't want to be on your video, I don't want to be on your video, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So it gets to the point where we use, you know, stop trying to, uh, trying to let them spread the joy or their experience about being in the Philippines, you know, which is unfortunate because I'm sure they have a lot to share and a lot to give. And just like, you know, my trying to uh, be on the lookout for older women to talk about how hard it is to find uh, uh, a good man, you know, uh, because, you know, a lot, a lot of the men come here and want to find, you know, that, you know, that <laughs> trophy Filipina <laughs> that, that ends up, you know, uh, 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 being not so worthy of, um, of, 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 of the, of the high pedestal that you put them on you know um so you know i you know it's in finding someone you know and i said it over and over again you have to make it very clear what's expected of them and make it very clear of what's expect uh, of, of what you know you will, for them to be expecting of you you know and 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 you know, I you know I don't know about you. You know, I don't know how much, uh, you know, how much time you know God is giving me. Hey, you know, for for me to be able to, you know, hey, you know, to do to do my thing, you know, or you know, to be able to, you know, still be able to, uh, 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 um, you know, to have sex, you know. So you know, I know that that I'm gonna ride it till the wheels fall off, and I know one day will come. You know that when I won't be able to, and I don't want to look back in my life and say, "Well, you know, <laughs> you know, I should have ta ta a lot more," <laughs> you know. But no, you know. So, so that is what is expected from my Filipina. You know, we have. That's why I say, if you have a Filipino girl, no, one day should. Uh, uh, if you have Filipino, if not. Every day, every other day, no three days should pass without tapping that ass, and that is uh, that is in my contract, you know. So and and that way, you know, there's no misunderstanding, you know, it's no misunderstanding of what you're here for. There's no misunderstanding of what I want you for. There's no misunderstanding of what I need you for, and and if you agree to my terms in my contract, well then, you know, hey, you know, I will give you the world, you know, and, you know, as little as you know of it, you know, and, you know, even with, with Mia, you know, there is, you know, you know, you know, I give to her, you know, relentlessly, you know, and I, I still have to, have to, you know, and someone asked me, well, why don't you sit down with her and make a budget? Well, well, you know, Mia is not the type of a woman that, I, you know, I can sit down and do that, make a budget like that. You know, um, you know there are some women who are, who are, have a lot on the ball, who are able to, you know, uh, um, to help you schedule and budget and, and all that stuff. And, and, you know, God bless you, and, you know, you know um, but, you know, me, you, you know, I don't need the input. All I need for you is to be conservative in your spending, which is, you know, which is something very hard to do. So I got to the point where, you know, if I give her, you know, a thousand pesos, you know, I, I accepted that it's going to be gone. 
If I give her 5,000 pesos, I sit back and expect it to be gone. You know, I don't expect to come to her three, three days later and her to still have some of that 5,000 left because it's not in her DNA. So with that being said, you know, I know what it is, or, you know, that I need to do for her is to make sure she always has that, I have that five, regardless about allowance. You know, allowance is, allowance is a nice, pretty word of saying, yeah, I give her money each month. Yeah, you give her money each month, and you know, but, but you know, I, you know, um, and what she does with it is, you know, it's on her. But, but you also know it's not going to last that long. And then what do you do? You say no. You can't say no. You spent your allowance. You have to wait the next month. You know, no, you can't have that because you, you, I don't know what you spent your money on. You know, and, and you know, so uh, you know, I, I know that's not in, 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 in our relationship. I know it's not going to happen like that. So, you know, um, you know, I know when she doesn't have money, I, I try to make sure she has money and whatever, no matter how small or how big and, you know, and, you know, I know her signs. I, one thing you have to learn about your Filipina is that you have to get to know her. You have to know her moods. You have to know her innuendos. You, you know, you, you have to know, you know, her expressions, you know, and they're very easy to read. I mean, very easy to read. You know, one word and, you know, can set her off you know, like, like this. So, so and not walking on eggshells. It's just that, you know, I just don't need, you know, to, to you know, to, to have to guess, you know. You don't have to guess what you need, you know. If you're in a relationship and you have to constantly guess how, have to guess or have to figure out what your significant other needs, then, then that could be a drain, man. You know, I, I don't want to guess. I, you know, you know, you know. Just tell me. I often say that you know, uh, you know, if you listen to me, if you really listen to me, I will tell you how to work me. I will tell you how to get the most from me if you just listen and put what I tell you in the practice. You know, you 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 know how to be driving that BMW, <laughs> or, or yeah, you know you, you you'll know how to get the most of me. And if you don't know what to do to me, it's very simple. Do to me what I do to you. That's all. That's how. That's how easy my relationship can be. How simplistic it is. You know, you know, just, you know, if, if I walk up to you and say, hey, hey, you know, baby, you know, you know, I'll give you whatever you want. Just tell me what you need. Then, then, you, then you should say, okay, you know, I need this. And I say, okay, fine. You know, oh, we can't provide that. <laughs> no, 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 no. But then at least you know, and you can work toward providing that for them. Or you have an idea of what it is she wants. Or, or what have you, and and and, and this puts you in, in a grand position. Say, honey, surprise, <laughs> you know, you know, like this. But if, if she's unable to know what she wants, uh, that's not unusual here in the Philippines for a Filipina to really know what she wants because she really hasn't been exposed to the world of, of of plenty. We call it a world of plenty, a place that has a lot of things. She doesn't. Uh, uh, venture into you know a lot of places where is that you know uh, uh, she might say well I want that now granted you know I, I know there are a lot of foreigners here who have you know um, uh, I call it old money you know uh, money they have from businesses or, or inheritance or you know um, you know I met a guy <laughs> this is going to kind of take a little turn I met a guy a, a couple of days ago, and he had a truck, and it was loaded down with aluminum. You know, you know these these slots. I I, I don't know the diameters of them. I don't know the whatever they're slots. These big things they use to build you know, with, and and these big rods. And he had tied with this massive rope, and and he had so many of them and all that stuff. And I started talking to him, and, and uh, he says, uh, uh, oh, well, uh, I'm building a bank. So I said, well, what do you mean you're building a bank? You're building a real bank bank? <laughs> because he's in, he's in the mountains. He says it's like 20 kilometers, however long. 
20 kilometers are, but I remember 20 kilometers. He said, I'm 20 kilometers away from the closest store. So, okay. So, so, but his thing is, is that he has these big aluminum slats and he, he has this farm. And what he does is that he gives one slat for one day's work. You know, so someone who's up in the mountains or looking to build a home or something like this, they give him one day's work on his farm and he pays them in these aluminum slats. And I said, well, how many pieces do they need to build a home? He says, well, after about 10 days of work, they have enough to build a frame. They, they have something that they can live in. You know, I don't know you know, the amenities are all inside there, but they will be, you know, uh, um, uh, um, you know, uh, protected by the elements. So I said, wow, you know, that's an interesting concept. And his whole thing is that, you know, that Armageddon is going to come me soon. I'm sorry for those of you who, 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 who live in conspiracies and gloom and doom and all that stuff. And there's not going to be enough food around. So he's, he has this huge farm that you know rather than paying the money he pays them in these these aluminum or whatever it is slats you know sheets that they can build homes in you know and I said wow that's that's very fascinating so I, I wanted to interview him but he says no he says he says the only reason I don't want you to interview me and I'm not going to say his name he said because you know you know the government you know, you know, the government might be concerned about this. Mm -hmm. You know that this is how uh, he's uh, helping the Filipinos, and the Filipinos are helping him, which is a very interesting, you know, barter system that he has going on. Okay. With that being said, this is Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the elder. Always pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best. Revenge of life is to live good. I'm living good today. I hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, former lady singer, The Temptation One Song, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king and never say no. And never give up. I love you like a love song, baby. I'll talk to you later. Peace.